Hey guys, in this video I'm going to use the new Hero Mathilda and wow, she's absolutely nuts. This is how I like to build her at the moment. Calamity Reaper is essential here, it provides a good amount of mana regeneration and it works extremely well with Matilda's skill set. In this game, I'm going to play in her in the side lane. I might try her as a support or even hyper carry in a future video, so if you're entertained by the idea, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification on. Here, you will see that Mathilda will totally dominate the lane against Xborg. Just one simple first kill and his shield will be gone. Above the horizon rises the beautiful sun. At least you tried. Well, yet you did Her passive allows her to gain charge while moving around, and you can see here. Once it reaches 50, it's fully charged and her next basic attack will be enhanced. Also her movement speed will be increased for a very brief moment. I know some really cool cowboys. Can we want spot her first skill makes her summon wisps that surround her for 3.5 seconds, and the more distance she covers, the more she can summon, and is capped at 6. You can cast this skill again, and they will attack nearby enemies. It's very similar to Cyclops' second skill. At least you tried. Well, yet you didn't make it, did you? Her second skill allows her to dash forward and gain an insane amount of shield according to her total magic power. And she will also receive an increase in movement speed. Also, the allied units who are around the area will receive the same amount of shield as well. And after a while, the ally who was the closest to you when you activated the second skill will be pulled towards you. At the moment, the skill description of her second skill is kind of messy and not accurate, especially the last part, so don't get confused. Her ultimate targets a hero and their circles around it for 2 seconds. During this period, Wiz will rush to nearby enemies each time dealing magic damage. After casting this skill again or reaching the time limit, she will rush to the target, knocking back enemies on the path, stunning them for a brief moment, and dealing a lot of magic damage. She also gains control immunity and a lot of shields during her ultimate animation. The best way to maximize her damage output is by using the first skill before her second or ultimate skill, because this way she will gain more wisps, which means more damage. Not only does she deal an insane amount of damage, but she is also not the easiest to kill, thanks to her second and ultimate skill. She reminds me a lot of Cyclops, but on steroids. <laughs> I can't get bored. If you are planning to play her as a support, I think maxing her second skill might be better. But since I am playing her as the side laner, I decided to go for more damage.
Her second skill is quite fun to use. You can just keep dragging your allies like this. Here, I will use the ultimate secret technique. Come here, bitch, no jutsu. <laughs> this hero might be a better troll than Jawhead. And because I just wanted to keep trolling, I guess this is what you call karma. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.